am waiting on a girl. Waiting on a girl. Waiting on a girl. Waiting on a girl. They're waiting on me. I am waiting on a girl. She's got slime all down her dress. Yeah, I'm waiting on a girl. And she's a bloody mess. Oh, I truly love her. Mm, I gotta confess. I'm waiting on a girl. She's got entrails in her hair. Yeah, I'm waiting on a girl. And she don't really care. Oh, rubber boots and Helly Hansons are her fire. I'm waiting on a girl And it's getting pretty late I'm waiting on a girl And I can plainly state Oh, she's more fun than a bucket full of bait Hello, my name is Belene Carlson and I am a cannery girl I am also a teacher I have always been a teacher even when Homer Harbor's offload dock was my usual habitat Want to know how to box a 50 pounds of black cod accurate within two ounces in under 45 seconds or identify a salmon in flight? I am your girl. I am way more comfortable in extra tufts and rain gear than I ever will be in a skirt. So how do I reconcile be the bodacious bin board Betty with Ms. Carlson's social studies? It's all about the hard work and dedication of the working class. I was raised in Anchor Point, Alaska. Like most AP girls, I grew up Title I. I didn't exactly have an idyllic childhood, but it wasn't too crippling and things were good a lot of the time. The pertinent point is that the people in my family are mostly blue collar laborers. And the expectation was that I would be a blue collar laborer as well. The only real direction I remember getting about a career was my grandmother's suggestion that I be a stewardess because I was so puny. For most of my working life, I have been a blue-collar worker, which has given me mad fish processing skills. I was quite content to sling slime in a place I heard a teenager call, the place where dreams come to die. Heck, I even made it onto a book cover. As I got older, I became more interested in righting wrongs and injustice. I mean, just because I grew up on the free lunch program doesn't mean that I don't care about my community or that I have a bad work ethic. It doesn't mean that my family was lazy and self-entitled either. It means that a lot of times, the way the world works doesn't work all that well for everyone. Teaching seems like the best way to go about helping people. After all, knowledge is power, and who is more empowering than a teacher? My trip down the rabbit hole of this MAT program has been a little harrowing. I have had a very difficult time reconciling my liberation education ideology with what Foucault would call the institutionality of education. A friend of mine pointed out that our system of education, like social work, is a modernist institution created by upper class white people intending to use pseudoscientific hegemony to bring the poor and the culturally disenfranchised into line with dominant imperialist ethos. The pressing. But I've learned to love education despite all of that. Kind of like I love the General Lee. I mean, a Dodge Charger is a Dodge Charger. Most of my family and the people I grew up around considered school to be something that they had to survive. It was an obstacle between themselves and getting down to the real business of living. Even for me, school was mostly a hostile, disempowering place, and I loved to read and to learn. I understand now that the reason for this is that for most people like me, school was selling a product that we didn't want to buy. It was encouraging us to become something we didn't want to be. I mean, who in their right mind wants to wear a skirt or a tie to work? Learning about education as a discipline has opened up a lot of doors in my brain. I'm excited to pursue my studies further, delving into project-based learning, learning through play, technology and education, and getting certified in college and career planning. As far as my teaching career goes, I will use the knowledge that I have learned in the MAT program to continue to be an advocate and an organizer in my community helping kids from all parts of society feel like the education system is their tool to use to do with what they want. But I'll always be a cannery girl. <laughs> <laughs>